picked up this pair for I think it was I think 65 or 67 pounds and it was from Nike and they just have heavy discounts on a lot of the sneakers at the moment and especially last sort of couple of weeks they had like a, a voucher code for 25 percent off extra and off from sale prices so as I started reviewing sort of the other sort of trainers like the Metcon 9 I thought and also the Metcon Turbo 2 I thought I'd take a look at these uh, what they're called the hopefully I pronounce it right it says on the box so it says the Valios and it's in the sort of black iron grey colorway white colorway and I'm I do sort of do lifting but I won't say I'm like a, a pro but uh, I do enjoy sort of lifting weights so I thought I'd give this these ones a try as well and they feel a bit more sort of I suppose more solid on foot and more even more firmer than a, a Metcon but that's not a set necessarily bad thing and they have a lot of they feel very very stable you can see there's no sort of apart from the front here there's no flexibility in this um, heel and forefoot area so which is a good thing so when you're lifting you can get that sort of extra sort of stability and power and also the fact that it's on a slope as well that's going to allow you to just have your feet sort of slightly elevated so it makes it better for for lifting and squatting so i think they're perfect for that and then you've also got this strap which uh, is, is good for sort of lockdown so just keep your foot in place your heel's not going to slip out and then the material has got it's not really leather it doesn't feel leather it just feels quite sort of synthetic -y, but it feels a bit more on the uh sort of more um almost like a kind of plasticky material so which is probably good for hard wearing and also slightly protection in terms of uh you know sort of weights and things like that if you're just walking around the gym you know so i think there's a sort of more protection on it and probably just keeps you a bit more uh secure as well and like in terms of the padding as well it feels like it's quite sort of padded from the inside as well and the tongue is kind of gusseted so you have like some sort of elastic elasticity similar to a sort of a nike dunk sp low and all in all it's got like a cool look to it as well so like i said the this sort of caging system going around it just is to keep you sort of secure and keep your foot in place and and also looks cool too so normally you don't get this kind of thing and just makes it a bit more interesting on foot So here are the details with the Nike Sovalios White Iron Grey. Comes in a white, iron, grey, laser orange and black colourway. And it has a what they call a hook and loop strap. So that enables your sort of midfoot to be locked in place, especially when you're doing sort of heavy lifts. And it also has a 15mm uh, uh, lift of off the heel, so the midsole is 15mm thick at the at the heel. And it also has a, a heel clip on the back to provide sort of more stability and impact protection. And the the base of the outsole of this the uh, trainer is has a really wide, uh, flat wide base for it, and it's perfect for sort of weightlifting. And the midsole is made from a TPU material, so it's slightly on the well, it's on the firmer side. And it's made of all sorts of synthetic upper materials, which almost sort of feels rubber to the touch. And the price was 130 pounds. So with the comfort sizing, these are, have a, a firm sole, so it's meant to be for training anyway. So I wouldn't expect it to be soft, and I expect it to be firm to basically give you that support for when you're lifting and being able to sort of lock down. And these do have good support around the arch as well, being a, a training shoe. And I feel that there's no wear in time with these. I think the only time where you've got the wear in is basically the midsole, um, but that's not going to sort of change over time. That's going to stay sort of rigid and it's supposed to. And you can go true to size on these, so I don't think there's any issues with not going true to size. I went true to size and I was fine. I didn't feel any tightness and I have a wide foot. And I also have uh, good traction as well. So like if you're doing any kind of sort of strength exercise, it's the flat uh, outsole and the, ba the base of it just enables you to be locked down uh, pretty much on the floor because there's no gaps. In terms of the look and style, I just like their simple white color, gray and black colorway. And it's a very sort of sporty looking uh, trainer, but at, at the same time, it looks looks like it, it means business in terms of being professional. So it's one of those ones that if you're going to the gym, like you do look like you're gonna be lifting heavy. And it's great for uh, strength training and powerlifting because it's got a slightly elevated heel. 
I think it's one that's it's probably useful for powerlifters as well, especially when you're doing like those um, stronger sort of impact or impact movements. So final thoughts. I like the fact that it's good for sort of intermediate weightlifting. Uh, basically, I'd be a bit wary of using it for in a professional environment because if you're lifting like really, really heavy weight, then you probably need something a bit more expensive and a bit more made for purpose. And I really like the stability on these. It's more so than a Metcon. And I like the midfoot strap because that really sort of keeps your foot in place and you're not going to get any kind of heel slippage. Uh, also, I like the fact that the, the heel is wide at the back and also the forefoot as well. It just feels very, 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 very stable. In terms of cons, I think the cost is probably slightly too high for these at £130. And the materials, because of the cost, like the plasticky uh, upper, it just feels a bit strange. But not like it's bad, but it's not really something that you normally see. And the comfort is, is okay, so it's going to be on the firm side. So just be wary of that and that's to be expected for a weightlifting shoe. So with the look and style, I think it's a cool looking uh, weightlifting shoe and I give that a four out of five. And comfort wise, it's fine, it does a job and that's a four out of five as well. It's not like uh, gonna be sort of soft or plus or anything like that, but for what you need it for, i.e. weight training, it will work fine. And the quality I give a four as well. I think it's mainly the upper material I'm just not too happy with. And I don't know if they can sort of introduce more tech into these. And the pricing is probably slightly a bit too high, but overall it's a cool uh, weightlifting shoe. And if you're sort of on the intermediate sort of stage uh, where you're not like an amateur and you, you kind of want to take your lifting more seriously, then this is a good pair to get, especially in the sales.